because you know the heart failure ejection fraction and uh, it can land up in heart failure reduce ejection fraction and all sorts of permission, permutation combination over a period of time. The ACC AHA guideline uh, management of heart failure shows that in patient with heart failure with improved ejection fraction after treatment, guideline-directed medical therapy should be continued to prevent relapse of heart failure and rapid ventricular dysfunction, even in patients who may become asymptomatic. So in those patients where we have given with heart failure disease ejection fraction, and then subsequently the heart, uh, their uh, ejection fraction has improved, so they are in the group of heart failure with improved ejection fraction, there you should continue the guideline directed medical therapy that includes army to prevent relapse of heart failure and left ventricular dysfunction even when they are asymptomatic so the pulse of concern is that army is molecule of the century and is indensive indispensable sorry and, and superior to ace inhibitors in reducing cardiovascular death heart failure death heart failure hospitalization and sudden cardiac death in patients with heart failure reduced ejection fraction it also improves left ventricular ejection fraction in adverse reduced ejection fraction and reverses the adverse LV remodeling and improves quality of life in both heart failure with reverse and preserved ejection fraction. It should be initiated as soon as possible in patients with acute decompensated heart failure and in denovo heart failure. And it should be given for at least three to six months along with other foundational therapies, heart failure reduced ejection fraction and left ventricular ejection fraction reassessed with equant CMRI before patient is considered for ICD or CRT. So you are calling, uh, if you are contemplating to give the patient a device therapy, patient has to be an army for at least three to six months. And uh, this should be used in all patients with heart failure to eject, ejection fraction up to a ejection fraction of 57 to 60%, along with, of course, uh, SGL2 inhibitors and other uh, guideline directed therapy like mineral receptor antagonists and beta blockers to reduce heart failure hospitalization and to improve quality of life. Thank you.